When someone retires from the zoo, we toss them into the flamingo pond as a ritual. One of us holds their wrists and another their ankles. We swing them back and forth. Count to three. And in they go. Clothes and all. Hot pink wings battering a few feet into the air. The flamingo pond smells like a bag of pickles and honey buns left to spoil in the heat all day. It is the first thing I smell when I come to work. I can smell it from the parking lot. I have a quick gag reflex. And the flamingos make me sick. I can't imagine being tossed in that filthy pond. With all that bird excrement and slime. I will never retire for this reason alone. Or maybe I'll be so old when I retire they won't be able to toss me. Last year, Diane, one of the docents, retired at the age of 74. When we tossed her in the pond, she broke a hip just from the impact of the water, I guess. She sued the director for a hefty sum, and they changed the rules to a lowered tossing age. Retirees are always smiling as they swing. A look comes over them that most of us have never seen on their faces before. I suppose if I had to put a word to that look, I would say that that word is bliss. It's after they come up from the stinking green water that that look has gone away and come back sour. We always have a good laugh at this point, slapping each other on the back. Then we go out to Quigley's for six dollar pitchers of bud and baskets of breaded cheese sticks. We laugh and mimic the face of the throne retiree before and after the tossing. The conversation usually turns to shop talk or the time Joe Shoemaker one of the keepers lost two fingers to an angry macaw. Joe always laughs along and pretends to pull his hand from the macaw's mouth, wiggling his stumps in the air. My wife, one of the docents, loves this charade. She laughs till her eyes water, while occasionally gripping Joe's forearm. She and Joe have been having an affair for months now. I'm almost positive. They are always eyeballing each other when they think I'm not looking. These things happen, I suppose. Joe is very charming in a goofy, Tom Selleck kind of way. I've been having this dream lately where Joe gets tossed in that stagnant flamingo pond. All goes on as it normally does. Except, the look on his face as he swings is one of terror. And when he goes in, he never comes back up again.